Welcome to 360 Ministries. Last time you saw me, we were talking about, are you afraid of the dark? Well, we're going to continue on that, but I want to refresh you on the scriptures that we went through. <clears throat> In Luke 11, 34-36, it says, The eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is clear, your whole body is also full of light. But when it is bad, your body is also full of darkness. Then watch out that the light is not the dark. If therefore your whole body is full of light, with no dark part in it, it will wholly illuminate it, as the lamp illuminates with you with its rays. And we were talking about that the good deeds that we have in our life that God does for us, but to make sure that the darkness is not there. And our other verse was in John 1, 5. This says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And when we talk about the word comprehend, it means that the darkness could not touch the light. It's not feasible for it to even grab a hold of it. But now I want to go ahead and add some more scripture to this. Because we've went through, we've discussed this couple. If that didn't scare you, maybe this will scare you more. So, the question is, are you still afraid of the dark? Let's look at John 8.12. And it says, Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light. Of the world, he who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. One thing that it says, it says Jesus spoke again. Jesus has been talking to the body of believers again, talking about that he's the light of the world. But it says, He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. We look at it this way, is that darkness, meaning in the Hebrew, is ignorance. Is there times that we walk, we think that we're walking in light, but we have ignorance to someone, to somebody, people in your church, family, friends? It doesn't matter. That ignorance is not true light of God. And let's look at one more verse. And this, is, and this is John 8, 21. And it says, Then he said again to them, I go away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I'm going, you cannot come. In this, sin is talking about is a failure. Do we feel like that, God, that we fail God in our sin? God tells us that sin is not welcomed to heaven. If we have sin in our life, how can we truly serve God? But he tells us, he gives us a promise. He says, when I go away, you can't come with me because of our failures, because of the sin in our lives. We can't follow after God because of the failure in our life. There is hope for everyone out there. That hope is Jesus. Jesus can come in. He can cleanse your soul. He can rescue you from the sin of your life. And He can set you free. He can break the bondage of everything that you think is non-breakable. So I ask you, are you afraid of the dark? There is a light that is so powerful that it will over and consume you. And His name is Jesus. The light is Jesus. Do you want to know this light? I just pray right now that you will just say, Lord, show me who you are. Show me the true light of who you are. And guide my footsteps in every path and in every direction that I walk. And I assure you, it might be slow, but God will and can restore you and restore your life. I want to thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. And I hope that God is speaking to you. Thank you and God bless.